Hey guys, I'm Pete, and today on Crunch Time Coaching, we're going to give you a hot tip that's going to increase your power on every single shot, whether we're talking forehand, backhand, volleys, overhead serves, doesn't matter. This tip's going to help you out. So let's get started. Now, before I show you the technique on this, we really need to understand the kinetic chain and that power is built from the ground up. And this tip was actually inspired by Vic Braden. I was just bumbling around YouTube because I am a tennis nerd, just like you might be a tennis nerd. And I came across this old video of Vic Braden with Roscoe Tanner. Now, Roscoe Tanner is considered to have one of the best serves of all time. Even if you watch these old videos, you can see like, oh man, Roscoe Tanner had a huge serve. And so Vic Braden took him into his laboratory. It was kind of interesting because it was like cutting edge back then, but today, you know, you can tell like, wow, it's archaic. But, but they talked about the concept of power and building from the ground up and measuring what Roscoe is doing from the ground and how it's gonna travel up into his racket. And like they say, I can show you better than I can tell you. So let's go to that video right now. You'll take a look at it. And then I'm gonna show you how this, is go this concept's going to help you out on every single one of your shots. That's fastest serve in the world, Roscoe Tanner. Roscoe, nice having you with us. Thanks, it's great to be here. <laughs> How'd you get started in tennis, Roscoe? Well, when I was six years old, my dad uh, wanted me to, to be able to learn how to play tennis just so that uh, I could play, like if I became a lawyer or something like that, to do after work as a social game. Uh, and there was about four or five of us that started taking lessons together in tennis. We did Little League Baseball, we played football together and everything else. And we were very competitive. And uh, we just started playing tennis together and, and really enjoyed it and played all the time. We have a way in our laboratory of measuring precisely how much power is going into that thing by measuring the forces going through the ground. So we're going to go in right now and take a look at how you serve and how many forces go through the ground with Dr. Gideon Ariel. Perfect. All right. All right, Roscoe, what we want to do now is to measure how much force you're able to throw into that serve. And Dr. Ariel's inside on his magic machine. All you got to do is come up, hit your regular serve, stand on this force plate. Whatever goes through the ground is going into the serve. Anytime you're ready. All right, let's take a look. Get in. Well, Vic, this is amazing. Look on Roscoe Tanner how much force he generates on the ground. 349 pounds. Well, some people might say, why 349 pounds on the ground? I'm generated on the rocket. Well, anything you generate on the ground has to come to the rocket and vice versa. Newton knew that long time ago. Action and reaction. 349 pounds, Rasko Tanner weigh only 175, 175 pounds. So all the forces going down has to come up. 349 pounds, that's amazing, man. How much you weigh? 170. Get in right on then. So that's two times body weight. So you put your foot against the force plate, you dig in, and you hit the ball, you hit the ball 130, 140 miles an hour. That's amazing to me. You generate 349 pounds, as Gideon says. You shoot your cannonball by keeping your foot on the ground, and that's why, because you can't shoot a cannon out of a canoe. <laughs> anyway, Roscoe, great having you with the Sun Future Sport. Thanks, it's great to be here. Okay, so now that you understand the concept of the kinetic chain, here is your hot tip of the day. We run a really be good, no matter what shot we're hitting, forehands, backhands, serves, volleys, we'll be really good at loading our weight on our back leg. So as I'm coming on the forehand side, I'm a lefty, I'm gonna put a lot of weight on that left leg, almost like I'm getting ready to sit on a chair. And I really wanna feel the power in the ground and explode up into the shot, okay? That doesn't matter if you're gonna hit an open stance, it's still the same, where I'm here, and I'm just gonna transfer the energy over here. So I'm still loading from here, and then pulling over there. So whether you are stepping in the ball or not, it doesn't matter, you still wanna load on that leg, the side that's going to hit the ball. So on the back end, now the load becomes here, whether I'm hitting a two-hander and stepping in, or I'm hitting a one-hander and then driving the ball, it's gonna be the same. Same thing on the volley, and a lot of people do not use this on the volley. When they really want to get some extra power, they got some extra time, they usually go to the arms and swing, where you should be more loading up this leg here and powering in and through the ball. And then finally on the serve, so many people un underutilize the, the power in the legs on the serve, and they just think about driving power through the arm and hitting the serve, when you should be thinking about driving power up through the leg, just like we saw Roscoe Tanner. And it's that back to front movement where I'm coming, loading back and then exploding into the ball. 
Now, coaching for so long, I do realize that saying something and doing something, it's a lot different. So what I wanna do is I want to give you some bonus training today so you can unleash your full max potential into the ball. So I've got five training exercises that you're going to be doing that's going to help you with each shot. I'm gonna show you how to use this on your forehand, on your backhand, on your serve, and on your volley. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm also going to give you three additional videos. Some of the best training we've ever done is our 3X power serve training that I do with my buddy Matt Bradshaw, and you can also get that for free just by clicking the card up here. It's our special bonus training just to say thank you for watching our videos here at Crunch Time Coaching. And remember, before you go, we just don't like you to touch the subscribe button. We like you to smash it. And then if you're not ready for that kind of commitment, we are always asking for a Johnny Mac touch life.